I was recently lucky enough to visit an orchid house, and it was incredible. Seeing the dozens of impossibly beautiful flowers, I was incapable of even listening to our host's explanations. Instead, I ran from one bloom to the next, feeling like a kid marveling at discovering a new world. Days later, I kept thinking about that visit and why our greenhouse had had such an effect on me. Perhaps it is because our minds need something to think about, and we usually can't find any better topic than our mistakes, disagreements, and dislikes. We are accustomed to complaining about the government, our jobs, the weather, the traffic, our loved ones, and even about people we don't even know. We do it non-stop, and what's worse, without even realizing it. Nature, on the other hand, offers us more constructive topics. The problem is that most of us are so alienated from it that we rarely listen to it. This is why orchids are such powerful messengers, because they demand our attention. And they do so to remind us of the creative goodness in nature, of the undeniable beauty of this world, of how everything serves a purpose and everything is connected. These flowers show us that in nature, the individual need not be in conflict with the whole. Quite the contrary, the high degree of specialization of these plants is only possible within the context of a complex environment of interdependent relationships. Removed from that natural environment, they require special care in order to flower. And this is why a visit to an orchid house is so magical, because it reminds us of what is possible with just a little bit of attention and a little bit of care. I believe that if we allowed ourselves the same care and attention and offered it to our neighbors, the beauty each of us is capable of, as a human being, would also amaze us.